Hey everybody and welcome back to the Northwoods. Today, Corey and I are in Mill Creek Discovery Park in Mackinac City. It is a beautiful, gorgeous day. The smoke has cleared out, the sky is blue, and the temperatures are perfect. And we are going to take a look around and see what we can find here at the park. Water-powered sawmills played a significant role in the early development of Michigan, as they were crucial to the processing of timber and supporting the state's logging industry. During the late 1700s, Mackinac Island was a growing community, and with it, the need for lumber. In 1790, Robert Campbell established a sawmill and farm here, on this site, and with it, provided the needed lumber to Mackinac Island. After Campbell's death in 1808, the sawmill would continue to operate until 1839. In the 100 plus years following, the property would change hands a number of times before ultimately reverting back to the state of Michigan and being incorporated into the Hardwood State Forest under the Department of Natural Resources in 1950. In 1972, a man by the name of Ellis Olson and some friends was able to explore the site here at Mill Creek. And what they found was more than 20 boxes of Revolutionary War artifacts. Olson was interested in the area because he was sure there had to have been a mill in the area, but was never able to find information about it. With Olson's findings, archeological work began in 1973, and by 1975, the property was transferred to the Mackinac Island State Park Commission. Nearly 200 years after the mill was first established, the site reopened to the public in 1984 as historic Mill Creek. So Corey and I have walked part of one trail. Now we've made it onto another trail and we are at a little lookout here. I don't know if I can get it in the frame. There's a creek. Down here. But anyways, we're gonna keep on walking. The park offers a little something for everyone, from exhibits to hiking trails, zip lining over the mill pond, a rock wall, and even hands-on activities for the kids. Activities for kids? Speak and say. <laughs> oh, that's neat. You crank it and it powers it. And you can listen to the sounds of different animals. Cute. I bet kids love that. Incredibly beautiful. Well, Corey and I made it through the trails and now we are walking through the main part of the park. Um, See, it is not not busy today at all. We're kind of in between seasons with the beginning and the fourth, so most places don't have much of anything going on. But we are here nonetheless. Here is the sawmill and then the creek comes through there. But what we're excited about is the water. Last two times. We've been here, there hasn't been any. So they at least have had a little more rain. Oh, they're letting the water in. Oh, the sawmill. Doing the demonstration inside. Hard to believe the ingenuity of our forefathers. So, so neat. So, so cool. 
maybe we will take a walk down here. That would have been neat if I would have went down here. I wasn't going to. I've been down here lots of times before, but maybe we'll check it out. This part is not accessible. Corey can't join me down here, but I'm going to check it out. Here we go. That would have been cool to have seen it while it was going right here. Put your phone wide so you can see it. There it is. Oh, yeah. That's down there that they demonstrate how it all works. This is where the wood was forested and cut and shipped to Mackinac Island. It's amazing. I'm so glad this part of history was found and restored and now we'll live on to show other generations our history. This is one of my favorite parks to go to, and it's because of the attention to detail that went into making as much of the park accessible as possible for those with disabilities. Sure, there are parts that just are not accessible, but there is so much that is. From the extensive barrier-free access ramps to hiking trails, making sure the trails are gravel, not loose sand, and of course, ADA accessible bathrooms. This type of attention we rarely see in the outdoor space, and we thank the Mackinac State Historic Parks for the effort they put in to making sure that everyone can enjoy the beauty of the area while taking in a little history of Michigan. They also have a small uh, museum here with some taxidermy things. City. Next time you're in Upper Michigan, put this on your list. It's an awesome place and a neat place to spend the day. Until next time, I'll see you on the road. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.